Well, dear friends, it's Wednesday, it's very wet. Lola and I decided we had better come back before we had another soaking. Anyway, here I am in my study, and I'm sure you're wondering whether a Baptist minister like myself would have a poster of West Side Story on the walls of his study. Well, I managed to retrieve this, along with many other posters, uh, during a time when one of the cinemas in Llanelli was closing. And um, I remember this, story, this film particularly well. I'm sure many of you do, the story of West Side Story. It's based, of course, upon William Shakespeare's uh, Romeo and Juliet, one of the most popular hymns, not hymns, one of the most popular uh, films in Hollywood history. But I'd like to show you another poster I've got in my study as well, and here it is. And it's of the film It's a Wonderful Life. Now then, this must be one of the most popular Christmas films ever made. It tells the story, you remember, of a man who was a good man, a man who was devoted to his family, a man who cared much for his community. He sacrificed much for his family. And he was a man who went through many turmoils in his life and at one point in the film he is cruelly betrayed. But the end of the story is one of celebration and thanksgiving when the community comes together and recognise what this man has done. And they all come, you remember. And we remember as well that it ends on a high note. Good ending, happy ending to a good film. When we come to Christmas, we are reminded, of course, of another good and righteous man, and his name was Joseph. Joseph was someone who appears in Scripture at just the right time. Mary was betrothed to Joseph. Joseph was betrothed to Mary. They were engaged to be married. And then Mary became pregnant, and Joseph knew that the child wasn't his. The Scripture tells us that he decided then to quietly divorce her, not to put her to any shame. But then the angel of the Lord appeared to him and declared to Joseph that eternal truth, that that which was of Mary was of God. And from that moment on, we, we learn of Joseph carefully taking his dear wife to Bethlehem, securing for her a place for the baby Jesus to be born, even though it was just a stable and a manger. We read later on in the scriptures of Mary and Joseph going to Jerusalem and and for a moment of their, their young son Jesus quite disappears. Where was he? And, of course, he was in the temple courts. We last hear of Joseph then, because he then disappears from Scripture. Joseph was a good man, a righteous man. And really, when we think of the Christmas story, we can't exclude him. He is as central as the angels, the shepherds, the wise man, and even Mary herself. He was devoted. He was called by God, and he was obedient to that call. And I think that the Christmas story does challenge us, you know, because... As I mentioned previously, the birth of Jesus in the manger indicates to us the extreme poverty and need that, that that young family were in at that time. We need good men and women in our community and in our world today who will be like Joseph in their care and kindness of others. Those who would go the second mile to ensure that those who have nothing, especially this Christmas, will have something. We are called to preach the gospel, and that's what we do in the church. We have good news, the good news of Jesus Christ, of his birth, his life, his death and resurrection from the dead, for his presence with us now in the power of his spirit, to proclaim that there is salvation in him and there is a forgiveness of sins and the joy and peace we know cannot compare with anything the world can offer. But we are also called to preach the gospel, not only in word but in deed. And to do what we can to help others, to take on the burdens that others are bearing. Some people are bearing burdens at the moment that are seemingly intolerable. And of course, that's why we need to be those who will help and to support where, as and when we can. Jesus taught, taught that in his life and going the extra mile and securing the care of others, putting ourselves second and others first. It's, it's, it's a challenge. It's not always easy. But when we look and remember Joseph, that he was called by God, as we are called by God, to lighten the load of others along the way. There's an old song, isn't there? If I can help somebody as I pass along, then my living will not be in vain. I pray we will remember Joseph this Christmas. But more than that, we will remember Jesus. And we remember his love. Remember, as we have been blessed, so we must be the means of blessing to others. Just a thought, dear friends. It's a wonderful life. It's bound to be on somewhere of Christmas. I reckon you'll enjoy it if you haven't seen it before and enjoy its message as well. May God bless you and thank you again for allowing me to be part of your day.